Yo guys, welcome to a new video on the Tip Khalid channel. As you can see, it's Levi here. And today I'm gonna teach you the best tactics for the 5-2-1-2. So obviously, we're starting with the tactics first. And something I can tell already, they are a bit different than normally, and you will notice soon. In defense, we play the width on 40, the depth is on 65. The width is pretty narrow because the 5-2-1-2 obviously has five defenders. I want the middle to be as compact as possible but my fullbacks are still pretty wide, so it won't be too easy for my opponent to break down through the wing. That's why my width is on 40. My depth is on 65. Me personally, as you guys should know by now, I like my depth to be pretty high, but me personally, I don't really like the 71 depth, which obviously gives you automatic offside trap sometimes. That's why I put it on 65. In offense, that's a bit different than usual. We play it on long ball for build up play, and chance creation is still on direct passing. I play it on long ball because I want my players to get high up on the pitch and make a lot of runs. My fullbacks are basically going to act like wingers. When I put long ball, they will be so high up on the pitch and I will always have seven people going forward with five people in the middle obviously and my left wing back and my right wing back will basically be like wingers. And that's why I put it on long ball. The width here is on 50. I want to have width in attack just for my fullbacks. And as I mentioned before, the other five players in the central, I want them to stay central. And that's why I think 50 is pretty balanced and works pretty well. Then players in the box is pretty high, it's on seven. Yeah, we are in a five back. So in defense, we will always have enough people back. That's why I think I can afford to have the players in the box on seven in this formation. And corners and free kicks are again on two bars. Then for the instructions on my goalkeeper, I don't put anything. For my right wing back and left wing back, I have jointly attack. You can also do balanced, but as I mentioned before, I want a lot of people to go forward with this tactics and formation. That's why I put them on jointly attack. My center mids are both on cover center and stay back while attacking. And my cam is on stay forward. Same goes for my strikers. They are both on stay forward as well and stay central. Now I see you guys thinking, what does the 5-2-1-2 make it as good as it is? Obviously, we have a 5-back, which is kind of boring in defense maybe. It allows people who are maybe not as good in defense to defend pretty well. But because of these tactics I use with long ball and direct passing, obviously players in the box is on 7 and my left wing back and right wing back are both on jointly attack. This formation is amazing in offense as well. As you can see in these clips, it's just tiki taka. I start the attacks most of the time on the wing. I try to send my fullbacks by making a pass with L1 or triggering them with L1. This will make them overlap and this will make me overload my opponent every time when I'm building up down the wing. As you can see in all of these clips, something that comes back every single time is the runs going forward. Me personally, I think it is because of that I'm triggering a lot of runs. But also the long ball tactics make a big difference. This makes the wing backs like wingers, as I mentioned before. And also the strikers will make a lot more runs. It can be a bit tricky in the counter attack, obviously. But because it is a five back, you will always have the three center backs who always will stay behind. And the left wing back and the right wing back are always in time to be secure in defense. Something you need to keep in mind when you're playing this formation and when you are attacking, you always need to think of going from the outside to the inside and the other way around because you will drag your opponent to the left side or to the right side and that will make him switch to his defenders, for example, to his fullbacks. He will try to drag defenders out to put a bit of pressure on you and that's when it gets dangerous. If you can't find the pass inside then, you will always create chances and you will always score easy goals in this formation. Now we're gonna talk about the defensive side of this formation. Obviously, it's really good because you have the five back, but how do you keep the defense structured? I get this question a lot of times and the most important thing is don't switch to your center backs or even defenders too early. I know you have five defenders. When it's still possible to defend with your attackers, always try to defend with your attackers. When your opponent has passed your attackers, you will still be able to defend with your midfielders. Make sure to do that then. As you guys can see in these clips, I always try to drag back with my attackers or midfielders, so I keep structured in defense. This will make the five back even stronger because there will always be five defenders which are in position, and I will just apply pressure from behind with my midfielders or attackers, which doesn't give my opponent time to think and make easy decisions. This way of keeping structured in defense, together with making good use of the offside traps just makes it impossible to score against this formation. As you can see, I spam a lot of offside traps, which makes my defense put up a high line. As I mentioned before in the tactics, I like my defense to 
be up pretty high. That's why I put 65 depth as well. But using this offside trap makes it even harder to get into my box. As you can see, my opponent is trying to be really patient and build up. But because I make use of this offside trap, he will just not get near to my box. This combination with tracking back, having five defenders and making good use of the offside trap just makes the five back impossible to get past. So to make a conclusion, five back isn't only good in defense. As I told you, even in attack, this formation is crazy. So make sure to try it out. Like this video, comment if you like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.